Bill here from AI Office Bot. Uh, if you haven't heard, OpenAI just released uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 3.5 Turbo 0301. The, this is what they used for chat.openai, um, the chatbot everybody's familiar with. So I'm going to show you how to set it up in Bubble today. So uh, I just got it to work when I initialized the call here. Um, but I'm going to go through, we'll set up the API and then I will show you how to show that on the front end with workflows. So I will put this link to the docs in the description. Uh, so if you've set up OpenAI before, uh, it's a post request, it changed slightly. Before it was V1 completions, they included a chat. Um, but it's pretty straightforward here if you have uh, experience reading API documentation. So um, let's go ahead and copy this. In your bubble editor, you'll need to install the API connector. And once you do all that, you want to import another call from curl. We'll paste that in import and this looks good this json here is the same as this so you can also see you still have temperature top p um, everything they had before uh, the only thing that changed is now, instead of choices, text, now it is under messages. So we'll take a look at the response when it comes back and see how to set that up in the workflow. Um, one thing to note here, you want to use this as an action. That way you can see it in your workflows. We want to check these as private. And for your API key, leave bearer as is. Make sure there's a space before you input your API key. And if you click here, you will get to your API key. Um, one thing I noticed, GPT 3.5 Turbo was available on the playground this morning. Um, it went away, but the API endpoint still works. So all this looks good. I actually have it set up here. They wanted us to say hello. This is where I want to input the prompt. So let's see. Um, computer's a little slow, so. Let's reinitialize the call. This looks good. Let's scroll all the way down to show raw data. So here we have body, choices, message, content is where we get the answer. So body, choices, message, content, content is the second item. So we'll see how to do that in the workflow. Um, the sun is approximately 4.6 billion years old. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Sounds right, but uh, I guess we'll have to do some double checking. So that's pretty much it on how to set up the API. Um, I haven't played around with prompting or anything like that to see the difference. And 
truthfully, I don't know the difference between Turbo and Turbo 0301. So uh, my plan is to figure that out today and then update AI Office Bot and see if I can't get it a lot closer to 100% accurate. Um, previously, what was happening, people were asking it probably the most difficult questions they could just to see if it would work. Um, and at that point it wasn't, there's a lot of formatting that went into it in multiple steps. So let's head over to the design and see if we can't call this API and get it to return a response. While this is waiting, if you have any comments or questions or anything, just leave it in the comment and you know, I'll get back to you. So we have our page, it's a column. We have a group column. Let's just do an input. Call this prompt to make it easy. We need a button. You could do this as a text as well. Um, it really doesn't matter. And then cool. So let's start our workflow. So when button ask is clicked, we want to go to our plugins. I have it labeled as this, even though I think we're just using 3.5 turbo, but that's fine, it'll, it'll work all the same. So here we have the prompt, which is a variable. We want input prompt on our front end, the value. So that'll pass through what's typed in there into the API and then we will get a response by, we're going to set a state. Let's do it on the page. We'll do text. So the value that's where we went into the JSON before and we saw, what was it, body choices, message content. So it's gonna be the result of step one, calling the API. Body choices, here we go. First item, message content. That should work. So this is a custom state. It will save it temporarily. Uh, if you want to save it to the database, you'd have to go into your data, create a place to save it, and then you could either make changes to a thing or create a new thing to save it to the database. So. Let's go back on over to design. While we're doing that, um, I would take a look at all of these. You can get multiple responses back, uh, change the temperature. So let's go over here. Let's remove this style. Placeholder text, we'll make it black. Okay, that looks right. Let's go ahead and preview it.
Okay. Once upon a time, there was a goblin named Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle was not like other goblins. He was kind, curious, and loved to help people. He always felt he didn't belong in his own kind because of his unique nature. Okay, so it has an ending. Um, let me show you what to do. Well, there's two things. So you notice there's a couple lines up here. We probably want to take out and then what if what if we have let's see what this does it'll throw an error yep and the reason it throws an error is because we have quotation marks uh, which you can't do with JSON so you add trim to this, that should work. Let's try. Yeah, there's no more lines up here. So I'm sorry, as an AI language model, I don't have information about your dog's location. That checks out. <laughs> um, Okay, so with prompting, we probably want to take out as an AI language model, but I'm not going to get to that in this video. Um, here, for the quotation marks, there's a... So here, the this is the value of our input. We want to find and replace, we want to replace a double quote with a single quote. And there's also for backslash, but I feel like I've been rambling on, so let's just see if this will work. Okay, it worked. Um, huh, that's a weird response, but that's pretty much it. So <laughs> good luck with whatever you're building. Um, the main focus on workflows is, is the result of step one's body choices, first items, message content and we got that through here so body choices message content we did trimmed so these are line breaks um, trimmed has always worked fine for me so that's it. Uh, there's a lot more to learn, but uh, since it just came out, I figured I'd make a video and good luck to everybody who's building. So that's it. Thanks.